I was reading a book called Virtual Selling by The Rain Group. Highly recommend the book, by the way. And they introduced a concept called the Ringelman Effect. Now, the reason I want to introduce you to the Ringelman Effect is because it's going to highlight how many people should actually be on your virtual conference to make it an effective meeting. So again, whether it's sales or project manager talking to the team, the ideal number is interesting. So the Ringelman Effect is this. Kind of mentally think about it this way. You ever play like tug of war, two people pulling on a rope? And by the way, if you saw, how many people saw the Squid Game? Out of curiosity, if you saw the Squid Game, hit me with a one, right? So if two people are pulling, Mario says, yeah, I love that. If two people are pulling on a rope, each person is committed 100% to pulling on that rope, right? But something interesting happens. When you add a second person on either side, the person after you actually commits a little less. In other words, you're pulling at 100, they're probably pulling at about maybe 97, 95%. If you add a third person, they're pulling less. So the more people you add, the less, the more, the less effort's being put. The person in the front's doing the most of the pulling. So what they found out, again, the rain group, is that when we have in-person meetings, what they wanted to understand was, you know, what's the engagement level? So engagement difficulty here is, for example, in a regular meeting, let me put my head up there, you can see me, perfect. And so what they found is that the ideal number for an in-person meeting is around six. That's an interesting number. Now the question is, what is it in virtual time? And what they found that after six, it gets real, real difficult. Notice difficulty increases, but notice what happens in a virtual meeting. That number's more like three. So really, this is your ideal number for a virtual meeting. So what's the big takeaway here? The big takeaway is, let's make our meetings smaller groups. If you can have a smaller group meeting, it'll be that much more effective.